Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And yes, part two of our pen test lab or penetration testing lab. On part one, I'll show you guys what hypervisor I chose plus configuring my network for my penetration lab. And the next following videos is me creating the virtual machines that we need to start using our pen test lab, right? So the first one that we are going to build together is my Debian. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys a couple of links of where to get the other ones, but I will post all that stuff up at the description or at the comic section. So don't freak out. So first things first, uh, there's a bunch of virtual machines that I'm going to be building with you guys on the following videos. Again, today we are only going to build the Debian one. Uh, but we are going to build a Windows 7 machine, a Windows 8.1 machine. We're also going to build a Metasploit, uh, a Windows 10, and Kali. So there's a lot of virtual machines, okay? So this is the link to get Kali. Uh, I am using the Linux 64-bit one. This is the link to get the Debian. Uh, this is the link to get the Metasploit, okay? Uh, and this is the link to actually download the virtual machines for, you know, Windows 7, Windows 8.1, and also Windows 10. Uh, yeah, they're free, but these virtual machines are mostly for IE, but you could use it for other things, okay? And then on the select platform, you pick your poison. For me, I'm doing everything within a Hyper-V, so that's, the, that's basically the platform that I picked. But if you're using like VirtualBox or VMware, pick it. Okay, and just select it, download it. Now the files are pretty big, I think between four or five gigs. So make sure that you have a large partition when you're creating these virtual machines. Once I have everything downloaded, again, we are only going to focus with Debian. Uh, I open up my Hyper-V Manager, just click on start, type in Hyper-V Manager, open it up. For you, you're most likely using maybe VMware or you know VirtualBox, open that guy up and create a new virtual machine. For Hyper-V Manager, on your right-hand side, I'm going to click on New, Virtual Machines, and you get the nice little wizard. I'm going to click Next here. For my name, I'm going to give it btnhd-debian. Click Next here. I'm going to leave it as the default as Generation 1. Uh, from here, I'm going to just start the memory with 1 gig. I think that's enough. And hit Next. And then for my connection, remember on part one, we created a V switch. So I'm gonna make sure I pick NAT switch. When you're configuring your operating system or your virtual machines, make sure you assign an IP address for it for the NAT to work correctly within your network, right? Click next. I only gave it eight gigs. Debian operating system shouldn't be that big. It's really small. Uh, if you wanna play it safe, give it maybe 10 to 15 gigs with all the updates if you are going to push out updates to it. Uh, click next here. From here, I'm going to pick install an operating system from a bootable CD DVD. Uh, I'm going to click on image file, click on browse, and I'm going to locate the ISO that I downloaded on the Debian.org site. Click next here, a nice little summary, click finish. It's going to start adding the network adapter and boom, done. Click on start. Uh, it's going to take some time to load up. Uh, I'm going to pick the graphical install. You pick your language, I pick English, hit continue, uh, United States, continue. It's going to be, the key map is going to be American English. Again, pick it for your environment. So hit continue for me. Uh, it's gonna start loading. Uh, it did not pick a auto config network. The reason why is because again, it's on a net switch and I have to assign an IP address. So I'm gonna hit continue here. I'm gonna configure the network manually. Uh, provide an IP address. I gave it 10 and then uh, make sure you get the net mass and Also give it the gateway IP and then provide the name server address then provide a host name again I gave it btnhd dash Debian Continue provide a domain name. I gave it btnhd dot edu Give it a root password and then confirm it and then hit continue and then provide a full name for a new user my new user is going to be BTNHT, and then confirm it again. You're going to set a password, then provide a password for that user account, confirm it, hit continue. It's going to start setting up the clock. Pick your zone. For me, it was Eastern. Uh, I'm going to just keep it nice and simple. I'm going to do the guided use the entire disk for you know the installation part, 
and uh, pick a partition disk. For me, I only have one. Hit continue. And I'm just going to pick from the partition disk options of all files in one partition. Okay. If you are a Linux guru and you want to get into like separating your home, your var, and your temp partitions, go for it. But for me, I want to keep it nice and simple for this penetration lab. So I'm just going to do all files in one partition. Hit continue. Uh, make sure you pick finish partitioning and write changes to disk and then continue. Uh, write the changes to the disk. Make sure you hit yes and hit continue. It's going to start installing the base system. And it's going to give you an option. Do you want to configure package manager? This is really up to you if you want to hit yes or no. Uh, I think I said no because I don't have a CD or DVD to insert to scan again. So hit continue. Uh, configure the package manager. I did United States. You want to pick your mirror. Uh, by default, the one that they chose for you is pretty decent. So hit continue. Uh, most likely you might not have a proxy, so just leave it blank. Continue again. It's going to start processing itself. From here, if you want to participate on package usage survey, you can either pick yes or no. I think I picked no. And then um, software selection, standard system utilities. I think you should get an entire list from here, but for me, I only got one. Uh, and I think the reason why is because I'm in a NAT switch. So I hit continue from here. It's going to want you to kind of like finalize your bootloader to the master boot record. So hit yes to continue from here. You're going to pick your hard drive to install your bootloader. So for me, it was forward slash dev forward slash SDA. Select that, then hit continue. And then it's going to do its thing. It's going to take some time and eventually you're going to get this installation completed. Hit continue. Uh, it's going to reboot itself. It's going to want you to unmount or dismount the ISO and it's going to start the process and then it should take you directly to the login and then you're able to use your username. For me, it was BTNHD. Hit enter, provide the password that you provided and there you go. From there, you are able to just close the window and you have your first virtual machine for your penetration lab up and running, which was Debian. Uh, Hopefully you guys stay tuned for the next videos. We're going to tackle Metasploit, uh, all the Windows operating systems, and definitely Kali, get all that stuff up and running within our penetration lab. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Leave comments right below. Make sure to hit that thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe to get the notification when the next part of this little series pop up because I think I'm gonna be pushing this guy out really hard. Uh, because my nine to five job act is actually paying for me to take the test uh, for penetration testing. So this is the reason why I'm building this little mini lab so I can start practicing and testing out so I could take the test. So hopefully you guys enjoy and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.